good morning to all of you good morning today uh, we are going to discuss the third part of our short story um, now you know the story the young student needs a red rose and the nightingale uh, and the nightingale decides to make a red rose she announces it to the young student right not the third part i think the fourth part right page number 24 please go to that place now in this part of the short story uh, it is uh, depicted how the red rose is created how the red rose is created by uh, the nightingale and the red rose tree in a moonlit night in a moonlit night, the writer creates very horrific uh, image, very horrific image of this creation, because at the end of this creation, the nightingale um, dies or leaves this world, passes away, sacrificing her life. Now let's read. And when the moon shone in the heavens, what is the image? Moonlit night. The moonlit night. There is the full moon in the sky. The nightingale flew to the rose tree. The nightingale came to the rose tree, set her breast, kept her chest. Breast means chest. Ah, kept her chest against thorn, on a thorn, rose thorn, rose needle, all night long. Throughout the night, she sang with her breast against the thorn. Now she keeps her chest on the rose thorn, and all night long, she keeps singing, singing love songs, and the call crystal moon. The moon, full moon, leaned down, looked down, and listened. Now, even moon is personified here. Right? Underline. All night long, she sang. And the thorn went deep and deeper into her breast. And her lifeblood ebbed away from her. That rose thorn went deep and deeper into her chest. Her blood came away from her. It's very painful. But the nightingale tolerates, bears up this pain in the name of the student, in the name of true love. She sang first of birth. Ah. Uh, Underline, this is the meaning of the nightingale's first song. What is the meaning? Birth of love, creation of love in a boy and a girl, in the heart of the young people. How love is created in the heart of young people. And on the topmost spray, on the top branch of the rose tree, they are blossomed, appeared. A marvelous rose, very wonderful rose. Petal following petal, petal after petal, petal. Petal means blade of a plant. Petal after petal. As song followed song. Now, one song means one petal. Therefore, 
a rose has so many petals. Therefore, the nightingale has to sing so many love songs. You see, the gravity, seriousness, enormity of this uh, sacrifice. She has to sing so many songs to create one rose. Because one song means one petal. If there are 100 petals, the nightingale has to sing 100 songs. That is the idea. I guess. Pale was it at first. Now, when the rose comes out of the rose tree, it's not red yet. It is pale, whitish. A whitish rose at first. Right? Pale at Pale was it at first, as the mist, like the morning mist over the river. Pale as the feet of the morning, like the feet of the morning, even morning is personified. All phenomena, all uh, things, all objects, all animals in nature are personified by Oscar Wilde. Because Oscar Wilde believes nature has life. Nature has life. Nature is not a dead thing. It has a life. It has a life. Right? Go on reading. And silver ash. Now this rose is like a silver, like silver as the shadow of rose in a water pool. Like a shadow of rose in a water pool. So was the rose, that was the rose blossom on topmost spray of the tree. Now that is the first rose. It's not red yet, it's a white rose. Now creation is not yet completed. The nightingale has to keep singing until it becomes red. But the tree cried to the nightingale to press closer against the thorn. Now tree shouts, Nightingale, press your heart, press your heart against the rose thorn. Keep it tight. Heart pressed. Press closer, little nightingale. Or the day will come. Before the day comes, before the sun comes, we have to finish it. Before the rose is finished. The day will come soon. Therefore, we must finish it soon. So the nightingale pressed closer against the thorn and loud and louder grew her song. Now she begins, she sings loudly because of pain in the chest. Now she feels the rose thorn goes through her chest like an injection, needle of an injection. She feels it going towards her heart gradually. Uh, for she sang of the birth of passion. Now, this is the second meaning of her songs. Birth of passion. Birth of passion. Passion means love. Creation of love in the soul of a man and maid. What is this love? Eternal love. Creation of eternal love. Eternal love means Love that never dies. Uh, love that never dies. That is an ideal love. Underline. Now she sang of eternal love, spiritual love, in other words. S P I R I T U A. Even after death, this love will continue. Uh, even after death. Even after lover's death, this love will continue. Mm. Like Taj Mahal. Love in Taj Mahal continues even today. Ah, that is spiritual love. And a delicate flush. After this song, a delicate, soft flush of pink. Pink color. Now pink color comes to the rose. Came to the leaves of the rose. Leaves means petal of the rose. Like the flush of, like the pink color of the bridegroom, bridegroom 
when he kisses the lips of the bride. Now think of a wedding couple. Uh, wedding couple. When they exchange their first kiss, the bridegroom's face becomes flushed. Very nice simile. But the thorn had not yet reached her heart, but the rose thorn had not yet reached, come to the nightingale's heart. It is getting closer. So the rose heart remained white. Ah, because of this, heart of the rose, even the red rose is personified. It has a heart, human heart. Now heart of the rose is still white. It needs nightingale's blood to be red. For only nightingale's hard blood can crimson. Crimson means make red. Make red the heart of a rose. And the tree cried to the nightingale to press closer against the thorn. Press closer, little nightingale, cried the tree. The day will come before the rose is finished. There are repetitions, so many repetitions. That's the right, writer's technique. Note it down, repetitions, similes, metaphors. All poetic techniques are used because this language is poetic. So the nightingale pressed closer against the thorn and thorn touched her heart. Finally, the rose thorn hit the nightingale's heart. Like a needle of an injection, it hit the nightingale's little heart. And fierce pang of pain, great pain, unbearable pain, shot through her, went through nightingale. Bitter, bitter was the pain, that pain bitter, unbearable. Bitter, bitter was the pain. Bitter, bitter was the pain. Wild, wild grew her song. Her song became much wilder, much violent now, louder. For she sang, finally, she sang the love of the perfect, love that is perfected by death, of the love that dies not in the tomb. Ah. Now, final song, what is the idea? How spiritual love, how perfect love, how eternal love is created. After death, even after death, this love will, die, uh, will not die. Will not die. This love will live even after death. Even after death. Tomb means death. Even in tomb, even in death, this ideal true love will live. And the marvelous rose became crimson. Finally, with the nightingale's hard blood, that great rose, white rose, became crimson. Crimson means red. Like the rose of the eastern sky. Like the rose of the eastern sky when the sun shines, when the sun rises. Crimson was the girdle of petals. All petals are red. Crimson as a ruby, like a red gem. Ruby means red gem. Now the rose is like a red gem. As reddish as a gem uh, was the heart. But the nightingale's voice grew fainter. What happens to nightingale? Now she does not have any blood within her. No life now. Her life is going away. Therefore, her voice became faint, very slow. Little wings began to beat. Her wings began to beat, flutter. A film came over her eyes. Her eyes closed slowly. Faint and faint grew her song. Her songs became become very weak. She felt something choking in her throat. Now the nightingale felt. Her throat is blocked. Choking means blocking. Now this is how death comes to nightingale. How death comes to nightingale. It's an image of death. Uh, now death is coming to nightingale. She gave one last burst of music. Finally she gave one last burst. A big music, big song. The white moon heard it, the moon heard it, and she forgot the dawn. The moon forgot that the sun, dawn means sun, 
the sun is on the way, she must leave before the sun comes. She forget it and lingered on in the sky. She stayed in the sky watching this scene. The red rose heard it. The red rose now finished. Now the red rose heard the sun's arrival morning. It trembled all over with ecstasy. The red rose is trembling, shaking with ecstasy. Ecstasy means happiness. And open its petal. Red rose open its petals to the cold morning air. Eco. Eco is a goddess, demigoddess. Eco, this eco bore it, took it, this message to a purple cavern in the hills and walk the sleep in shepherds. Now Iko, this goddess, she gives this message of creation, red rose to the shepherd. Shepherd means the person who looks after cattle, cattle herd. Now these shepherds in their dreams, it floated this news uh, through the reeds of the river, uh, through the reeds of the river, and they carried the message to the sea. Now, what is the idea? The nightingale's great sacrifice spread all over the world, all over the world. All the world comes to know the nightingale's serious sacrifice. Now, look, look, cried the tree that uh, uh, rose tree says, the rose is finished now. Rose is finished. Creation is finished. But the nightingale made no answer. Nightingale has no answer. She is dead. She was lying dead. She is dead in the grass under the rose tree with the rose thorn in her heart. In her heart, there is still the rose thorn. Uh, now that is the end of nightingale's life. She sacrifices, she offers her life for the student, for the student's love, right? Now in that way, this part ends. Separate the story from here, draw a line here. Right, write down, comment. Write down, comment. I think the fourth part, is it fourth part, Gihara? Okay, write down. Is it fourth or third, fourth or fifth? Uh, fourth part. In this section of the short story, in this section of the short story, Oscar Wilde presents Oscar Wilde presents a fantastic image of F A N T A S T I C. Fantastic image of fantastic image of creating In this section of the short story, Oscar Wilde creates a fantastic image of creating 
creating a red rose. Creating a red rose. Creating a red rose. It is depicted. It is depicted how the nightingale how the nightingale how the nightingale sacrifices s a c r i f i c e s sacrifices her life sacrifices her life in the name of in the name of true love and true lovers in the name of true love and true lovers in the name of true love and true lovers True love and true lovers. It is also depicted. How the nightingale. How the nightingale. Fulfills. How the nightingale fulfills how the nightingale fulfills her promise her promise her promise to a promise to the young student a promise to the young student full stop okay we'll continue the knot in our next session we'll continue the knot in our next session